Alright, ito naman, top students ng top science high school ng Pilipinas ang magharap-harap at magtatagisan ng talino sa ating UH Quiz B! At sabi nga nila, two heads are better than one. Kaya tandem edition ang Quiz B natin today sa Philippine Science High School. Puntahan na natin dyan si Miss Lynn at si Sean. Tandem. Are you two Quiz B tandem doon natin yan? Correct. Good morning, guys! Hi, good morning! So, ito na yung pinakaantay natin because UH goes to the best high school in the Philippines, Philippine Science High School, main campus, Quezon City! Yun! Tumataas ang boses ka! Grabe, grabe. Sobrang excited, eh, no? At grabe, first time to ngayon, Miss Lynn, kasi ang UH Quiz B natin ngayon, ano ba nang mangyayari? What? Tandem edition! Tandem! So, nako, ito, we, ito na talaga. Ang talong, are two heads really better than one? Yan yeah, ang malalaman natin mamaya. Kaya naman, ano pang hinihintay natin? Ipakilala na natin ang mga kapwa yes. kong taga-Pisay. Shoutout sa Southern, Southern Mindanao Campus. May singit Hi. lang. Okay. <laughs> ang first tandem natin, Davis Nicol Nicolo Magpantay. Grade 12 student and Philippine National Chemistry Olympiad Silver Medalist. At ang mga kasama niya, si Benjamin Jacob. International Physics Olympiad Honorable Mention. Yes. Palakpak naman para sa mga kasama niyo, guys. Wow, may pa-sign po. May pa-sign po, nakakatawa naman. At eto ang kanilang makakatunggali. Si John Florence Dizon, Singapore International STEM Innovation Challenge 2023 Overall Silver Medalist. At Si Ethan Anilov Norcio, Lavoisier International Chemistry Olympia 2023 Silver Award. Palapakan din natin sila. Ayon. Magagaling. Mukang feeling ko. Grabe tong laban na natin today, Sean. Nagko-compete internationally lahat, ha? Yes. Okay, guys. Pwede na tayong pumuesto dito. And syempre, to monitor their answers, baka kasama din natin si Sir Mark Lopez, ang kanilang special science teacher and batch advisor. Palapakan naman natin si Sir. Good morning, Sir Mark! Ayon. Yes. Okay, so wag natin patagalin pa. Everybody here is excited as am I, as are we. So ito na, for our easy round, each correct answer is equivalent to 10 points. And you only have 5 seconds on the clock to answer the question. So ngayon, kamay sa baba. O yan. O, ito na ang unang... Pogi, para sa TV. Pogi talaga. Ito na ang unang tanong, guys. Makinig. Anong yugto ang tinuturing na pinakamahaba sa kasaysayan ng Pilipinas? Go. Ah, uh, pre-colonial Philippines. That is actually correct. Pre-colonial period. Kapano ang pre-colonial o sinaunang pamayanan. That's good. Thank you, okay. Ethan. Question number two. Aling enzyme ang makikita sa ating laway na mahalaga sa pag-breakdown ng starch at glycogen sa ating pagkain? Amelie. Okay, John. Amelie's is correct. Okay, dalawa na para sa kanila. Ha? Oo, pero okay lang. Kayang-kaya pa humabot. So, ito ang ating ikatlong tanong. Find, ito, uh, use your pen and paper, please, uh, guys. So, ito na ang uh, ating third question. Pati yung mga estudyante dito, pwede kayong ano, ha, mag-try. But, 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 quietly, don't, don't help, help them. Okay, this is the third question. Find the length of the median to the longest side of a triangle with sides 16, 30, and 34. Sige, you start. Yes. 17. 17 is correct. Wow, oh, bilis, ha? Question number four. Good one, Benji. Ano ang salitang ugat ng pananaliksik? You can do this, guys. Kaya to. Ugat ng pananaliksik. Okay, Benji. Saliksik. Saliksik is correct. Very good. Grabe yung solving mo dun, bro. Oo, grabe talaga. Nagulat ako dun. At eto na. Fifth question, the last question for this easy round. The question is, ilang chromosome meron ang isang human somatic cell? 46. John? 46. 46 is correct. Yes! Uh, that concludes our easy round. So recap muna ng points si John and Ethan and my 30 points. At si Benji and Davis, they have 20 points. Okay. So ayan ha, masiinit pa yung laban ng mamaya dahil sa ating pagkabalik. Yung difficult round, ako pwede pang humabol. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Kaya abangan nyo yun mamaya dito lang sa Pamansang Morning Show kung saan laging una ka. Unang, Unang hirit! hirit! 
Ito na nga, close fight ang ating easy round sa UH Quizby kanina. Pero parang easy-easy nga lang ang pagsagot ng mga estudyante ng Philippine Science High School. Uh, moving on to the difficult round. Malalaman na natin kung sino ba ang ating UH Quizby champion. Kaya balikan na natin si Miss Lynn at si Sean. Good luck, guys! Shout out sa anak ni Miss Lynn nandiyan oh, sa set. Oo kay Gabby! Hey guys! Hello! We are back here at Philippine Science High School Main Campus, Quezon City. Mm -hmm. Recap lang ng scores natin kanina, si John at si Ethan na may 30 points. Mm -hmm. Sige lang, turi mo lang. <laughs> Habang si Davis at si Benji naman ay may 20 points. So eto na sa second round tayo, more difficult to. This is the difficult round and dito talaga magkakaalam because 50 points ang kada tamang sagot and you will be given 10 seconds to answer. Are you ready? Yes. yes. Alright, kamay sa baba. So the first question is, in how many distinct ways can the letters of the phrase unang hirit be arranged so that the letters of the word unang are grouped together and the letters of the word hirit are also grouped together? Okay. Benji. 7,200. That is correct! <laughs> Doctor Strange. Oh, nga, feeling ko Doctor Strange. Okay. One, Benji. Number two. Gaano kataas ang aabutin ng isang 5 kilogram na bola kung hinagis mo ito mula sa lupa at binigyan ito ng initial velocity na 20 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. Again, gaano kataas ang aabutin ng isang 5 kilogram na bola kung hinagis mo ito mula sa lupa at binigyan ito ng initial velocity na 20 meters per second. Acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. At habang ginagawa nila, nakakatuwa siya kasi pati mga estudyante rito kasama natin, no, nag-iisip, alam mo na, iba sa kanila, parang, ayan, no, nakatingin sa taas. Oh. <laughs> Doing kanila. the math ah. in his head. Okay, we only have 10 seconds to go. We have 7. 6. Six. Okay, Benji, Benji. again. 2.04 meters. 2.04 meters? That is incorrect. I am sorry, Benji. Okay, John, John Ethan. Ethan, you want to steal? Oh, tumatawa na si John, no? Pinaitan, Gus, bukan mo lang. At 2.05 meters. <laughs> Galing. Nice guess, ha? But that Pwede. is still incorrect. The correct answer is 20.4 meters. Yeah. Nagkawali ka ng decimal. Yung pwesto ng decimal lang mali. Decimal point lang. Oo. Pero eto na. Let's go to the next question, guys. Third question is, Nakamit ng Pilipinas ang gintong medalya sa basketball at pole vault sa naganap na Asian Games sa Hangzhou. Ano pang sport ang nakapagbigay? Yes, go ahead. Jiu-Jitsu. Jiu-Jitsu is correct! Yeah! Uh, so, it's all been a good current event. Oh, okay. 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 Ibig sabihin talaga napaka-well-rounded ang mga sadyante natin. Okay, here's our fourth question. Find the sum of all the positive proper divisors of one million. Again, find the sum of all the positive proper divisors of 1 million. Uh, remember, audience, you can solve this but only in your head. volunteer <laughs> Alright, we only have how many seconds left? We have 10. 9. Okay. Benji? 1480437. That is correct! Very good! Okay. Okay, so we have one remaining question. Pwede pang humabal, guys. Eto na. Kung ang nanay ay may blood type O, at ang tatay ay may AB na blood type, ano ang probability? Okay, Ethan. Zero. Zero is correct. Medyo mahitit ang lapan na. It's a difficult round. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay. Go, Sean. Si Davis and si Benji ay may 120 points. Habang si John and Ethan ay may 130 points. Wow! And that was a good steal. At ibig sabihin nun, si John and si Ethan ang Quiz B champion natin today. Woo Congratulations, John and Ethan. Of course, Thank you, Benji and Davis, for fighting the good fight. Pero, pa 
bago tayong magpatuloy nga pala mga kapuso para sa incoming grade 7 students, mm -hmm. bukas na po ang nationwide application for national competitive examination dito sa Philippine Science High School for academic year 2024-2025. Yes, mara maaari po kayong mag-submit ng mga estudyante na application online sa kanilang website o sa PSHS main campus dito sa Quezon City hanggang October 13, 2023. Nako, mara konting time na lang meron tayo kaya ihabol na yan. Maraming salamat po syempre sa Philippine Science High School sa pagpapatuloy sa amin this morning. Thank you. And mga estudyante, please, ito na ang pagkakataon nyo to come here and uh, to uh, to enter and uh, matriculate in Philippine Science High School. You never know. Totoo. Kaya naman, pasok na kayo. And kaya naman, para sa umagang punong-puno ng kaalaman, tumutok lang kayo sa Pumansang Morning Show kung saan laging una ka, Unang, unang Hiring!